I think we the first half uh, is really good between maybe a minute of 10 until 45. Uh, I think we create chances enough to score a goal. Uh, the start of the second half is okay. We're losing a little bit of energy uh, in the middle of the second half. We're losing our position in the same time. We make a few changes, uh, so it gives us uh, necessary energy in the end of the second half. And uh, I'm proud of them that they keep working hard together. And uh, one point here is not that bad. So much better, like fighting spirit. And that was the most important today. We saw Ebony make her first start of the Challenge Cup tonight, and it looked like she had just created a bunch of chances both for herself and for others. What what did you see from her performance? And does that make your job more difficult moving forward to, to think about her in, in a starting role? No, it makes my job much easier because I, I need good football player and she did a good performance. The only thing she missed was a goal. So that was good. You know, you mentioned you kind of hinted at you. The point was not that bad here. Do you feel like that's a fair result, even though maybe it would be surprising to look at that game and think that there were no goals scored? But did you feel like a, a, a draw was fair? Uh, I guess it was fair. Uh, like I said, I think we were a little bit better in the first half. But uh, in the second half, they get closer and closer to one goal. Uh, maybe a fair result. Uh, uh, yeah. What, uh, what else do you feel like you've seen growth-wise from the team now to be a few games into this, uh, you know, from where you were on the first night when you said, you know, that was a, a typical first game? I mean, we're taking, taking it step by step. I think the second game uh, in the first half, we did really well. We, uh, yeah, but we just did some mistake in the second half of the second game. And uh, this time we was fighting until the end. So... We can see that we're doing better and better. Uh, I do see a question from Becky. Do you want to go ahead? Hi, Coach Kim. Um, I Hi. was wondering if you could tell us a little more about the swapping of Lester and Merrick and putting Merrick as an outer back and, and Julia as a center back. What prompted that decision and what did you see from both of them in these new positions? I think uh, Julia Lester, were, she was one of the best players at the pitch today. So I'm happy with the decision. Uh, I have worked with her in one and a half years, so I know how good she is. And uh, now she did really well. So, yeah. This is going to be the third game and I believe nine games or nine days coming up on Saturday um, and, and you all stay away from home. But what what does the schedule look like? I mean, how do you how do you keep the team fresh at this point? Of course, it's difficult to play like three games in, I don't know, eight days or nine or whatever it is. So we need some players. All players can't play 90 minutes in three games. The, there's no way they can do it. Uh, is maybe maybe a defender that can do it, but in otherwise we need to have like some rotations and uh, we showed today that we changed a few players, but we still did a good performance. So I'm sure we can do it one more time. And then last thing for me, um, Logan, let me know that I believe this is actually Racing's first shutout, first clean sheet since back in June of 2021, the last time they were in Chicago. Um, what the importance of that and, and just what do you feel like that says for your team at this point with what you're trying to do defensively? I mean, the most important for us is that we was keep working over 90 minutes. Uh, like I said, we, we did okay in the both first and second game, uh, but we didn't do it for 90 minutes. Today we was keep working and fighting. So of course I'm, I'm proud of the team and, for, for one point, uh, but the most important for me to see was the, the process and they was doing their best uh, from the first minute to, to the last minute.